Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to disassemble the OSPF 13-L3-2-2. Again, that we have to do is remove all the screws and then lift the cover up. On that part of the cover, we leave the actual metal piece and we will find there the model number, the service tag, and the license for Windows 7. So now to take out the actual battery, we have to remove all the screws that I'm pointing the screwdriver to. Once we remove all the screws, we could uh, lift the battery. And um, before doing that, we have to most likely take out the connector. Let's continue removing the screws. And now it's time to take out the connector. We slide it over and it should be released. After that, we have to lift the actual battery and slide it over towards you. So in that way, we don't damage that orange flex dot right there. Let me show you around the battery for you guys to have a better idea how it looks. And if you guys want to replace it, you could go ahead. Just get the most likely the part number of the battery and then get a new one and just put it back. Under this plastic cover, in there we could see the wireless car. We use lift the connectors with a black cable and a white cable. And we remove the screw right there and we could release the actual Wi-Fi car. We slide it over and there should be an easy step right there. Now we take out the screw from the actual storage. When we lift it, we slide it the same way that the Wi-Fi car. Now it's time to take out this flex that connect the actual motherboard with the power jack and other connectors on the other side. In there we leave the yellow plastic to take out the flex for the keyboard and the mouse. We leave the plastic secure. When we leave them we slide over the flex. Right, in that section we are able to remove the screws for the holding the fans. There is a cable going around that we have to move for the power jack and then we leave the actual fan. After that we have to take out the screws on the other side. We have the actual speaker and we slide over the connector and this should be released speaker we have to take out the screws that are holding the speaker and those speakers they are held by the battery too whenever you take out the battery you should be able to take out the two screws and then remove the, the speaker in there we have the connector for the actual display for the screen you have to lift the actual strip a blue strip and lift it lift it up and then it should be disconnected after doing that, we could go ahead and make sure that all the connectors are released and all the flex are released. And after that, we have to start removing the screws that are securing the actual motherboard. We have around four screws that are holding the motherboard. Once we take out most of the parts, but a few more, but right now, when we take out all those parts, we should have one under there, the other one on top, the one in the middle and the other one in the other corner. We have to be very careful whenever we're trying to lift the actual motherboard because we have one screw under the actual flat on the actual connector from the screen. And another thing that you have to guys be very careful the way that you guys lift the actual motherboard because the keyboard, the flex is under the actual motherboard. So you have to be very careful on that section. Once we lift it, we have to flip it and take out the actual flex for the keyboard. Now you guys could see all the chipsets and the components that the actual motherboard has. Talking about processor, connection, chipsets.
Howard, could you raise the actual speaker from the right side of the computer? We have to take out the screws first and make sure we take out the connector too. Right there is the connector for the speaker. That we have to slide over. Once we take it out, we have to remove the screws. Make sure the wireless cable that are around on the motherboard, we start lifting it over. And take them out from the actual small plug that they, they have. And we take out that long cable, we put it aside. And it is time to remove the screw that is holding the actual ports on the other side of the computer. When we leave over the actual little board, we could see in there that we have the USB connector and the headsets port. In there we could see the power jack to take it out in case that is damaged. We have to remove the screw that is holding it and then take it out. All right, once we take out that connector, we have to take out all the case screws that are on the actual keyboard. Once we are able to release the keyboard, and if you guys can see so far, there is a lock metal piece that is holding it. Right there, there's a metal piece holding it. We take out that screw. We are able to lift the metal piece, and we should be able to take out the keyboard from there. In case that we need to replace it, should be an easy step. If you wanted to remove the mouse, we have to take out the four screws that are holding it and then slide it over towards the keyboard and take out the sticky locker there. If you want to put back the actual mouse and the actual trackpad and make sure you guys put back the screws that are holding it and we put the actual screw back and the locker for the keyboard remember all the screws the small screws go under the K now we, we are able to put the jack connector for the AC power adapter Make sure we put it on place, and after that, we screw the actual power jack in, and then we put the little board on place, and on top of it, we have to put the actual speaker. Make sure you guys put back the connector and put the screw back in. Now it's time to put the actual heat sink on top of the motherboard and make sure you guys secure the, the screws and after that before putting the motherboard back we have to put the actual keyboard the flex and lock it out you guys go slow and start lifting all the cables that are around and make sure you guys put it on position if you guys could see in there that the fan should go on top of the motherboard
that's why guys I was trying to show you that it's not going all the way down so make sure you guys put the fan on top of the motherboard and there we have to put the other actual speaker and it's the same connector we slide it over and then we have to put the actual screws those screws are the ones that hold the actual speaker We have to make sure that we put the flex back on place and we lock them down. Make sure that we put the actual screw that goes under the flex for the for the actual screen. Make sure that we put the screw back in that are holding the motherboard. And finally, we leave the actual white flex that is on there on top of the battery. We put the battery back. We put all the screws that are holding the battery. Right there is going the first connector. That's for the mouse. And then we have to put all the screws that are holding the battery. We put the connector back in for the battery, finally. And we put the orange flex that transfer information data from one point to the other. We put the plastic. And after that, the yellow plastic goes on top of the little flex that are together next to the Wi-Fi card. And now it's time to put all the screws back in on the cover. Make sure you press it down a little bit and now you should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, please leave your comment below.